Lethbridge Hurricanes head coach Brent Kissio, my guest. Uh, coach, let's talk some Hurricanes hockey. The training camp is done. Your preseason, as we speak right now, is just around the corner. Uh, what's the mood like? What's the energy level like uh, in the dressing room uh, around the boys? Uh, and, and how excited is everybody to get going here at the start of the regular season? Well, it's been a great camp. You know, I think our, our scouts did a heck of a job uh, bringing the players they did. We have a little bit of a smaller camp, but we were real excited. The, the, the skill level was high. Um, our, our older guys came back in great shape and looked, showed real well. And then we have a good complement of younger guys coming in and pushing hard for spots as well. So uh, we were real pleased with it. Um, you know, it was exciting to see some of our, our uh, younger guys and the skill level they have and the pace they pushed our guys at. Um, but we were proud of our older guys and how they led the way and uh, really stepped up. And it was a hard camp. And um, now going into exhibition season, we're excited for that as well. Tell you what, I mean, you talk about your veterans. You, you've got a few guys on that roster who have been Hurricanes for quite some time now. I mean, look at Joe Arntz and Jet Jones, and the list goes down. Um, I get the sense it's a pretty heart and soul group, Brent. Uh, would you agree, and would you pin that perhaps as as one of your team's strengths here going into 22-23? Well, I think so. You know, I think it, it's going to have to be a, a harder working group um, you know, up front. We might not have the elite talent that some other teams have, but we feel that uh, with our depth and, uh, you know, as long as we work hard and, and compete on every night, um, we're going to have to find a way to score some goals. And we like our back end. Uh, we think it's a pretty deep back end. And, and in net, um, you know, with Picklick starting the year for us, we feel it's a great opportunity for him to come in and get some games under his belt and uh, try to lead the way for us. And we'll get Thompson back at some point. And when he does, um, knowing how he played last year when he was healthy and feeling the right way, we think with him 100% this year and coming into the season, he could really be a big addition to us. And, and last year, he battled through some injuries. So getting him healthy and playing the way we know he can will be huge for us. Given what everyone's gone through the last couple of years, Brent, how important was it for your group and maybe especially your younger guys to get a taste of playoff experience just to kind of get that hunger uh, for this season? Well, it was really important. You know, we, we always want to make playoffs here. And, and uh, we've done the first stretch now and, we feel it's important as an organization to show you guys that experience and uh, to, to have a chance to, you know, to win the cup one, one year. Um, you have to have that experience, we feel like. So it, it was a good good learning experience for you guys last year. You know, we started off slow. We felt our last 10 games, we really started to play the way we wanted to and had a good little streak and a run there to finish the season. And obviously ended up against Edmonton, a heck of a hockey club. And uh, they were so deep. And it taught our guys how hard it is to play in playoffs. And um, the level of competition goes up mistakes increase um, the, the cost of mistakes increase and uh, the emotion and just um, that first playoffs for a lot of our guys a long time was a great experience for our team you hate to use the term the future is now just because it sounds so cringy and cliche but when you look at your forward group brent you could certainly argue that the future is now when it comes to you know the trio of marquez warmald and uh, Braden edwards and i think you know, watching your group down the stretch last year, those are three guys that, boy, they showed a lot of promise, at least from our perspective up here. And I just want to get your thoughts on them, having had a, a, a you know, half season, full season for some under their belts now and, and what their preparation level has been like uh, for a new season here. Well, they've come back to camp and they look awesome. You know, they're, they're a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. Um, you know, you know, Wormald, for example, had a great year last year. We, we let him go at the start of the year uh, to let him develop a little more, brought him back in. And he had to play in our top six for basically the, the whole season. And, and, you know, for a younger guy to do that and show like he did on our power play and put the numbers he did, I was pretty, pretty excited to see. Um, you know, Edwards, we got a trade, came over, um, kind of took off for us right from the start and had a great second half for us. And Marquez, the same thing, when he got up with us and played games, he was an impactful player. So, you know, we like those guys and the way they played on the stretch for us. Obviously, new year, uh, there's new challenges. They'll be seeing kind of different opponents, different matchups. So, you know, there'll be some ups and downs. You're younger guys that um, are still going to have to find their way and compete every night. And it's a long season when you're playing up in the lineup like that, especially for younger guys. So um, we're excited for it. There'll be some challenges for sure, but uh, we expect big things for them. Lastly, as we speak, uh, we're right around the corner from some of your guys heading to NHL camps. But I want to ask you about Joe Arntzen in particular, because this is a guy that, Boy, I mean, he wears his heart on his sleeve and, and does just about everything for your group. Uh, you know, wh what does it mean for him and for your group to, to see him get an opportunity to go to an NHL camp this year? And, and what kind of experience do you think he's going to bring back when he uh, when he returns to your club? Well, anytime you guys go to camps, it's exciting. You know, it's just uh, 
you want to promote your guys, you want your guys to go to camp, have that experience. We're, we're trying to turn guys into pro hockey players. So it's uh, it's important to get guys to those camps, NHL camps, get them to learn from it, uh, bring back their experiences so other guys can learn as well. And I always feel like it makes them better. They get to go see how pros play, how they uh, behave on and off the ice, and the different levels that uh, different things they do to, to pre- prepare as pros and hopefully teach your guys along the way. Uh, for Arston, great experience. You know, he's a guy that uh, it's well-deserved. He's one of our captains. He works hard on and off the ice. Uh, he's a great leader for us. Uh, he's not undervalued here, but probably you know a little bit undervalued in other spots. But uh, for us, uh, he brings it every night. He plays hard and competes, and uh, he's our leader. And, and we uh, we're excited and thrilled for him to go, and we think it's going to make him better.